Um, oh, well, that's a good one, isn't it, eh? Chaffs. What a great start. Um, get a babe. Nothing else for it. So, yeah, so if, if somebody's on who wants to play in the NAF or on Fumble, um, Shawnee maybe might do a might do a game on Fumble. Um, yeah, I wanna I want a game on I want a game on Fumble to uh, to just remember how to use the controls because I'm playing in the European with Team Fantastic on Fumble, Pete W and Malmia. Um, so. You know, I want to. I want. I want some practice with wood elves, and obviously, seeing as this is a uh, this is a uh, kind of oh. Struggling with the words here, aren't I? I can't help but go the um, rule of five. Can't help it. This is better to, for people to watch, isn't it? <laughs> Obviously, I'd get better practice on fumble, but this is better for people to watch. So, seeing as I'm streaming. Um, I'll have one game on Fumble to remember the remember the controls, uh, and hopefully, hopefully against somebody good, or at least, or at least competent. No, oh, excellent. Got a reroll. Lucky bastard. Lucky fucking bastard. Oh wow, he's got a million rerolls. All right, so his team isn't isn't actually that good. He's got one ball and a million rerolls. Yeah, that's the thing, Clangers. I mean, I didn't mind how it looked, but it just hurts my eyes now. That That's the problem. It just hurts my eyes to watch it. But I can mean I can play... I thought the Europan was worth playing, you know, like the, the NAF style. I think they were talking about it rather than than doing it, Grindel. I mean, because it's one guy, isn't it? That's the thing. It's, it's just one guy who does the programming and that, so... Wow, it's ballsy play against elves, isn't it? I know he's got five rerolls, but still. That's pretty ballsy play against elves to just go for a four plus handoff there. Like, at least make that move first. Seeing as you can make it anyway. Yeah. I think it's okay playing it. I mean, and to be honest, watching it, I I, I like watching of majors just because you know, it's it's good quality games, isn't it? And obviously, that was before I even knew what Twitch was, <laughs> and before Blood Bowl Two was out. Um, so I guess now that you can watch, you know, good people playing on one good person playing on <laughs> on Twitch. Uh, I mean, when I say one, I don't mean I'm the only good streamer. What I'm saying is, mostly, the opponent isn't as good as the whoever you're watching. Whether it's whether it's Andy, Dave, or who or whoever, usually, usually, the streamer's better than whoever they're playing, aren't they? Which makes it a bit a bit limited in that regard. Whereas on fumble in the majors, you know, usually both people are. Are really good, which is what's so good about the NAF, isn't it? Or, or obviously the team fast, the the fashtastic league. You know, if I'm playing, if I'm playing Mullen Ducky, 
um, every game, then you know both both coaches will be competent, won't they? Which is good. He's just he's nuts, this guy, isn't he? He just didn't cage. He went for the casual 25% into the super casual 100%. Oh, wow. Yeah, at least one of them will be competent. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean to be fair, it wasn't it wasn't a great to put in that direction. I would have liked to put somebody in here and, and knock him that way. Um, so you could argue I was wrong to push him this way, but I just didn't want to risk obviously the war dancer being tied up on him. Maybe I should have moved the tree first, and then maybe I could have afforded to put an assist in, and then because obviously hitting him this way would would have been better for the scatter and recovery, but um. Hmm. Nah, TLC, Fashtastic will not be live for a while. What's going to happen is the NAF League. I'm going to, I'm going to concentrate on the NAF League to get that up and running once the fi bugs are fixed, which Nethios said should be the early October. It should be, Res should be fixed then. So concentrate on getting the NAF up and running, and you know playing some games in the NAF, and then. Uh, and then after that's kind of sorted, uh, go for go for something. That then 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 set up the uh, then set up the fashtastic, yeah, which might just be fantastic league because fash might not be involved. But you know, hey, why are we rolling it? Okay, I'll stand for him, why not? If you want to foul me, you can. I will punch your DLV if you didn't put a, um, if you didn't put a, uh, a message, then I think it doesn't come up. But, um, You know, I think because a lot of people just resub and uh, and don't put the message. So thanks to all, everybody who resubs without without messages, and uh, thank you for staying fantastic, Poncho DLV. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Brindle is crazy, isn't it? It's crazy. Well, he's managed to make a cage this time, hasn't he? Ah, oh, well, thank you very much. Thank you very much for staying fantastic, Pancho Deal. Well, he, he, he thought about, he thought about, uh, cage, and then he was like, nah, fam. <laughs> nah, fam, I'm good, thanks. Um, so I need to put somebody in there, somebody in there, get him up round there. Block him, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI, GFI. It's a bit bit of a ball ache, actually, running all around that way. Of course he fails the stand-up roll. Um, that was guaranteed, wasn't it? No, I shouldn't have put him there, should I? No, I had to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, that's okay. In there, don't follow. Maybe it's better for just a leap here. Eh? Maybe a leap is better than all these two pluses. No, that doesn't. 
Now that now the sack is just hard, isn't it? I guess now the sack's too hard. I needed the power on him to, to go for the sack, I guess. I could blitz him and then that frees up these two guys. Shit, protect the war dancer, eh? No, I roll a one instead. Adjun a storm vermin. I don't like it, but um I don't like it, but yeah, I mean I I would go mighty blow. And everything but you know it, it's good eventually isn't it like eventually it pays off that's the thing well kind of I mean I would I just want the storm of him and just for claw bomb but obviously add up it makes him a good player oh shit he's gonna surf me isn't he? easy surf fuck I didn't need to think about protecting the wood elf <laughs> The Wood Elf, the War Dancer. I, I think of Wood Elves as just War Dancers, and I think of Skaven as just Gutter Runners. It's funny. It's funny that the team that I'll be using has three rerolls in this one. This has none. Yeah, maybe I should have rerolled that block. Like, if I'd had three rerolls, I guess I would have rerolled the block on the Chaos Dwarf. Just to, um,. Just to get that power so I could go for the ball sack. Maybe. Oh, I should have made it like ball sack again, shouldn't I? Oh, there you go. Punished with the death. That's blood ball, isn't it? <laughs> roll roll a push on your block. Get your get your catcher killed. <laughs> Yeah, I, I would go Mighty Blow instead of Adge, but you, you can't say that the Adge is wrong. It's just personal preference, isn't it? Like, it's going to be... He, he would be a good player eventually with, like, Adge and Guard and everything. Um, but, yeah, I w personally, I would leave the agility stuffs to the uh, gutter runners and have the uh, Storm Vermin for Clawpaw. Yeah, Doom, but it's not really an Aryan style. It's just it's just using my European team. And to fit in the team, I've got to have no rerolls, which is a bit crap. Hello, GSC Hunter. Wait, he just doesn't care about the ball, does he? He doesn't give a fuck. He just doesn't give a fuck about the ball. Can he come around there? Yep. I just don't want him to catch it, do I? But then I don't want it going more tackle zones. So I guess. <laughs> he went in two tackle zones anyway. Fuck about. Leap, pick up, dodge handoff. Can also make one leap in the entire match and it's a failure.
Yeah, that's fair enough, Clangers, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, five vamp build, yeah. These mighty blows, good. But what a what a what a disaster this game is, isn't it? <laughs> Funny old game, Blood Bowl. Playing somebody who completely refuses to protect the ball carrier. Maybe I was wrong though, maybe maybe this was a bad player pushing him to there. Maybe I could have uh was he here and I hit from here? Maybe I could have gone in here, put marked him, put this guy here, and then I could have pushed him to there. And then that wouldn't have happened, so I guess that was bad play on my part as well. So Oh wow, that's pretty that's pretty amazing, GSC Hunter. <laughs> pretty amazing. Are we? Yeah, I'm very sorry, yeah. It's Kylie there! It's Kylie there, you slack! <laughs> oh my god! Hello, oh, table leg. Oh, that's a great. That was great. That wasn't it. Holy shit! Holy shit! That was great. Wow! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this guy, you've joined. You've joined a cracker here, table leg. <laughs> you've joined a cracker. <laughs> um, despite him completely failing to protect the ball at all. And choosing <laughs> choosing a boat down instead of a power and a war dancer. He has still managed to surf a catcher and kill it. Um and I still probably won't win this game. But yeah, that was a that was a good that was a funny funny event, wasn't it? Shane and uh Jermaine <laughs> from Croydon. <laughs> <laughs> randomly, randomly ringing us up. Okay, now. It's like he's trying to lose. So yeah, I, like I, I didn't want to leave people in contact with these, but I guess that's what I should have done. I should have blitzed him the other way. <laughs> yeah, maybe jump does. <laughs> like he just refuses to protect the ball. <laughs> now this is just a guaranteed serve. <gasps> it's like, what is even going on? What is even going on with this? <laughs> um. Yes, uh, alright, I'll stand him up first. Oh, God. He's rooted. He's failed every stand up roll except when he, except the one that he passes, he gets rooted on. Fuck about. I mean, could leap and, and two dice blast him, but I've got to just surf, haven't I? I've got to, I've got to just surf. There's no option. <laughs> A death. A death. Oh, he's got an apple though. The dirty dingo. Face the ball. Ball is based. <laughs> He could block him, but then he's based by a chaff, isn't he? Which isn't. And he'd have to be based by a chaff as well. So maybe... Go for dodge outs with him. Or leap outwards with him. So 3 plus oh, dodge oh, against tackle, base, isn't it? Base, base. This won't fail. I am so operating. might as well go for the leap out. Two leaps fail both. Pretty good.
I don't like leaping with the elves. The board is based. <laughs> and now it now now unfortunately he would he's he couldn't take the board down. This is crazy, isn't it? This game. This fucking game. I mean, well, there it was leap or make worse dodges, wasn't it? So there it was. It wasn't. I wasn't leaping to be a crazy ball sacker. It was just. It was just literally better than a dodge. Blue man, strike like ram. <laughs> it's great. Isn't it? It's a great name. It's a great name. Strike like ram. Fucking hell. <laughs> pushing the pushing the uh, bull into the tree was good, wasn't it? I just can't believe that this has gone so bad against this guy. Literally hasn't hasn't tried to protect the ball at all. But then two slight errors have uh, cost me it really, haven't they? I should really try to think a bit more. Good job he's got five re-rolls there. It's <laughs> stood, man. <laughs> Good me. But he hasn't really... I don't know. I just think he's somebody very new, you know. I just think he's very new. Studman piling on with his uh, with his ball carrier was the best, wasn't it? <laughs> right, so safe moves first, isn't it? That's the uh, that's the order of the day. Get him away first of all, and fail. Brilliant. <laughs> this is, I mean this is really hard with zero rerolls instead of three obviously it's not the it's not the best practice in the world he's gonna score despite himself here isn't he <laughs> in Aaron would be four nil up already but to be fair in Aaron would have probably pushed in the right direction when he uh when the ball went to the uh Went to the hobgoblin and when it went in two tackle zones. So. It's a good question, Clangers. That is a good question. Um, I guess it would depend on the rest of the team. Um. <laughs> um. I guess it would depend on the rest of the team. I would never say never to take a guard on a, on a ward answer, but um, it's generally not ideal, is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would consider it overnight, then take Mighty Blow like every other time. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> wow. Use his reroll and go for two GFIs. Madman. He's just not failing anything. Rowdy. Hella rowdy. And he punts! Oh, he knows a handoff! He's got 
the skull. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Look at that. <laughs> oh man. There was a guy there. How did he get there? <laughs> He struck like Ram. <laughs> he absolutely did strike like Ram. Oh my god. <laughs> like a gnawing threat. Like a gnawing threat. Oh shit. <laughs> strike like Ram. Oh fucking hell. Why is it even happening here? I'm, I'm lost. <laughs> oh shit. Um Alright, so I guess I want want a block. Want a carry. Something to be dickheads. I guess blitzing is more important. I want another throw I can carry, eh? And pass it to a catcher. I can be like proper in Harian. Did he score how? I don't know, to be honest. With you. I don't know how he did it. <laughs> Literally don't know how he did it. Alright, you can pass to that catcher, eh? It is open. Um, just open. I would like to play a game in the NAF League. Um, if Somebody would like to go on. Unbelievable, Jeff. Oh, got him. Ooh, got him. Oh, got me. Come. Oh, I'm deleting the team after this game now, TLC, with the uh, with a dead catcher, there's no point. Out bashed by Woody's as well, just quietly. Disgusting Woody's out bashing, out bashing. Uh, thing because his apple was used on the kill, wasn't it? Crazy, isn't it? It's crazy, crazy stuff. And now, because I went full sideline, it makes failure this turn absolutely horrific, doesn't it? 
And he's actually he's actually defended it well. Like how how is it possible for this guy to have defended it well? I don't understand. I just literally don't understand. Oh fuck about. And there aren't even any balls. Yeah, that's true. That's true. No, he, that's a good spot for him. I don't know if he's done it by Of course he's done it by accident. But that's a good spot for him. Stunned him. So blitz him. Hopefully get a pal. Run down here. He blocks him. And then he runs out and like... I guess just give it the war dance. Eh? Hope for the best. Shit, it's a GFI. It's pretty annoying. Hope for a pal here? No, of course not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That'd be a three plus pass. And can't even get him around to defend anyway. He has to three dice this guy first. This guy has to... Roll a one. Predictably, predictably the next, the next dice roll was a one. Oh, Alter, this is crazy. VIP sub man. Yeah, it wasn't. That was a lot of good dice rolls on that block. I can't believe he defended so well against that. Kind of stupid, stupid push. He's used all six rerolls this half as well. Um, pretty impressive. There is one for a um Oh wow. Um The Last Frogman is uh is not only a super VIP on uh on not only a super VIP on um on Patreon but also $25 sub on Twitch, which is pretty good.
<laughs> 200 I don't know about that. But. <laughs> oh, I thank God, roll the 2 plus. Unbelievable, Jeff. Strike like Ram. Oh, man. Oh, does he <laughs> does he think he's got a perfect defense? <laughs> Gotta make that a three dice or no. I guess I should spend more time setting up than just a few seconds like that. Lone first doesn't even matter, he's just the best player. about getting additional blocks. Maybe I should, but I don't. Because I blitz him at the end. Let's be like in Ari and A. Just cause. He's in scoring range there, isn't he? Maybe it's... No, it's not fine. I'm not going to score next turn. I'm going to try and get good with Wood Elves. <laughs> and uh, playing like in Harry and it's not the way to be good. <laughs> so... No. No. The important part is being able to stall... Like, it's not a skill to be able to score in two turns. Rolling dice, is it? That's not. That's what Wood Elves do if you're a, if you're a fucking ten-year-old who doesn't even know the rules of Blood Bowl, you can score a two-turn touchdown with Woodies. What's hard is stalling out for eight turns, isn't it? So, that's what I need to do. That's what I need to learn how to do. Because even this guy... He's still going to make two dice blocks with block and tackle and stuff, isn't he? So Beating him 5-0, or 5-1 as it would be now, to me isn't as important as being able to beat him 2-1. Um, no, I, wouldn't, I didn't, don't say Inarian's bad, but Inarian it doesn't prove anything. That's what I'm saying. Winning this game 5-0 wouldn't improve me as a, as a coach. I wouldn't learn anything from winning this 5-0. That's the thing. And I think the defending part is easy. I think the hard part with elves is stalling out your drive. That's what I think personally. Um... Yeah, but I don't care about progression because, again, it's only for the European, you know? It's literally only for the European, which is why I'm using this, this shitty build anyway. Without, without re-rolls. I wouldn't dream of using a team without re-rolls normally. 
but seeing as this is the team I'll be using in the Europa. I obviously in a perfect world I'd just be playing in the NAF ladder. But seeing as it's bugged, I fucking can't. So you know. It is what it is. Probably best just to not not go down with the tree, isn't it? He can probably get us with the uh, with a bull if I stand anywhere. Oh, I could have just moved him. Ah, oh, fuck it, that's good enough. There is progression in the NAF at the moment. The res res leagues have have progression. They have winnings and they have fan factor and they have star player points. Which is unfortunate to say the least. Maybe I should just try to win 5 0, then everyone will think I'm really good because I'll, be, I'll beat Scrubs 5 0. But um, to me, that's not that's not good practice. Because scoring in eight turns is riskier, isn't it? It's harder to score in eight turns safely than it is it is to rack up the score. Oh, rib cracker. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, that was trying to it trying don't to sixteen fail. million. Base, base, was base. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Boop, <laughs> boop, boop. Yep, that's true, Kurgo, yeah. According to according to Voodoo Mike, so maybe it's only only against the AI that happens, eh? We'll never know. Like feeding an extra an extra man to the tree there. Maybe two men. Too many men on the tree now. Got dodging you don't. Maybe we should block one of them. But why? Still taking up three players' actions. Probably yeah, Master Zoo. I mean, if I was two and oh, um, if I was two and oh and I had two Soros with block, <laughs> I guess I'd keep it. Um, but I guess not, yeah. Hey, push. Taking three people's actions this turn, pretty good. 
Yeah. Well, still, four for one's alright. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Crocs. Crocs, six auras, two rerolls. The only way to possibly build them. In my opinion, as I should apparently say after every sentence I ever utter, according to some people. <laughs> yeah, that would good. <laughs> that was a bad push square, wasn't it? You can't base the ball now. You'll be very disappointed about that. Yeah, it's true too. I think what I need to do is, I was, you know, I wanted to do them with the face cam, but I'm, I guess I'm just going to do them without the face cam. I'm going to know. Because then I can do them late at night or early in the morning. So I could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and do a pass over there and score. Or could just uh, push down here. bit shit when it could have been a block but I think blocking with block is uh, is worth it isn't it got him Shame he didn't stand up. Yeah. Yeah, that is very true, Master Zoo. It is hard because, and people think the fucking dice are bollocks and everything. Like, the people think the AI cheats. People think the dice are shit and stuff. And it is hard to differentiate between, you know, if it's things you're doing wrong or if just the dice are bad. Yeah, it is. It is tough. It's it's and it's tough to even say what what an optimal play is on any turn, isn't it? Like obviously some things are definitely optimal, like uh, like choosing a pow instead of a push. Um, <laughs> but even then, even then, that's not true if if it could set up a surf, is it? So it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, true. True, yeah. Yeah, but each individual, yeah, that's true, yeah. Each individual play is, uh, yeah, base the ball. <laughs> Which, to be fair, look, basing the ball is really good against a team with zero rerolls, isn't it? Um, can't hate on him for that in this game. He absolutely should be basing, 
spacing the catches and war dancer with tackle and everybody else with everything else. Like all men, all manzing the zero reroll build is the way forward, isn't it? But obviously, so it's it's harder practice than what it'll be in the NAF because in the NAF I'll have three rerolls. So it's, Right, he can, he can stand up, hopefully don't dodge by mistake. Right, it's not a two plus, it'd be a two dice block, wouldn't it? Can he, he can't fit in there, shit. Shit. Shit cunt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's not easy. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. He could go in there, but that would work, wouldn't it? In fact, no, maybe it's him just going in here. No, because he could, he could go to there, then he can just blitz here, can't he? Oh, but then a push is no good. No, I know I, six plus isn't six plus isn't as good as a uh, a two dice block, is it? Two dice block is a one in nine. So oh, I could have dodged out with and blitz with a warden, so that would mean better. Oh bollocks. So I could just put him in there and then dodge down blitz with a dodged out from this water and so shit. So there you go, so bad play. Probably punished. No, unbelievable, got away with it. Right, I guess I'll have to score now because I've got no rerun. But I guess I could have gone in the corner if I'd had rerun. I've got to stop him scoring now. Then he can get two dices on these. I think it's better to go here and then. He's got to get near the tree, hasn't he? So it fucks him up a bit. So there you go. Failed to stall out the drive. <laughs> Did get a level on a thrower for leader. Maybe it's worth keeping this team then, with uh, even though there's only one catcher. Yeah, he would. He really would because I made a couple of slight mistakes sacking the ball. No, not really mistakes. One, one was a choice that I made. The other one was probably a mistake. And still, there was still a downside to it, though. So... <laughs> that can't be real. <laughs> that can't be real. I don't believe it.
I'm trying to scroll on this website here, that's what I'm zooming out. Oh my god. As if that's real, holy shit. <laughs> Getting in touch with Twitter to see how it happened. Oh, brilliant. He doesn't care. Does he? He's just, he just does not care about protecting the ball. Right. So assist there. Assist there. And then blitz from behind. Um, and now I don't know how I'm going to recover. Holy shit. Made, made a stand up without taking root. I mean, I couldn't. I, I'm not going to make a dodge or anything to get it. So that seems the only way. He has to hit from there, so he has to come. Fuck, man. Actually, why is it too hard? Why is it there? I mean, I can't make a three plus pickup, can I? Could do a one dice block if I'm going to do a two plus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, oh, fuck it. Just go for it. GFI to get there. So probably better to do the leap and then the dodge there, isn't it? I mean, he can still easy two dice him, but at least it was with a hobgoblin and not a not a chore. Blitzed a random. Blitzed a random out. <laughs> Fucking hell. I hate them too. To be honest. That is pretty unbelievable. I guess it's worth it's worth keeping this team and getting the uh, reroll on the throw it. Because, yeah, one catcher isn't so bad. I guess having a reroll is more realistic.
As if that was even real. Holy shit. Onto no a different one. Um, so yeah, it's just blitz and blitz and score. Eh? shit in it. No fistful of steel. I would I would never start with uh, <laughs> with no rerolls. It was just to make the team like the team I'm using in Europe and on Fumble. That was the only reason. And obviously I can try playing I can try using the team with zero rerolls. It's a bit like it's a bit like uh, gravity training, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> get used to playing the team without skills or rerolls, and then when I get skills and rerolls, it'll be pretty easy. But I mean, he was he was awful. You know, there's nothing. Well, there is something I learnt though. You know, maybe maybe take the risk on the hits, especially in res. Take hits to uh, get a better scatter is worth it, I guess. Another example of needing to do the guides. Well, I tell you what, I'll be doing the guides soon. Fistful of steel. Um, of all the races, I'll be doing. Um, you know, I can do them in the in the night and in the morning with the the fact that I don't have to have the face cam. I'm not going to do face cam on them. The the face cam was the limitation because need the lighting for the uh, for the green screen. So, um, if I don't have the if I don't have my ugly mug in it, then I can do it in morning or or evening. So, um, I will just do them at like midnight and stuff. I'll do the guides and I'll get them on. Somehow I'll get the guides on YouTube. But yeah, I would always go, for Woody's, I would always go exactly what Clang has said. I would always go two war dancers, one catcher, two rerolls, yeah. <laughs> I won't, I won't support the two vamp build. I won't mention it, to be honest. I'll just, I'll just make a good guide that people can look at and won't mention the two vamp. I mean, they're not. It's not even a concert. It's not even worth mentioning two or six. Well, I guess I could say that. It's not worth mentioning two or less, and it's not worth mentioning six. But I think three and four are both good, and five worked for a very good player on fumble. <laughs> Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, I won't have my 
unbelievably handsome face in the videos. I'll just have, I'll just have no no video. No cam and then then I can do them at night or in the morning. There you go, won a game. Won a game with Wood Elves. What a fucking expert. <laughs> one, one, one against one against a beginner who didn't protect the ball with the best team in the game. Go me. Oh, and the dead catcher got the MVP. Typical. Stand-ups were actually 50-50. It's just they could, two of them coincided with the take route. Take route was pretty good. Leaps were very bad. Ah, but there you go. And, uh, right. Leader on him. Thank you very much. And that's all right, isn't it? If you made it to the end, you should like and subscribe and stay fantastic.